Hi everyone, thanks for tuning into my channel, Hoop Hildenbrand Guitar Academia. We go on with our course on North Indian classical music and we will discuss some different um, very important features here of that music and we will also think um, always um, about like application, um, how we can apply these concepts in, in, in other music um, as well. And I give you an, an, a kind of a, uh, some, some insights, uh, how I think about that certain, um, certain um, techniques, concepts, and whether I use them or, or whether I apply them and if I apply apply them um, how I am doing that and if I don't apply them I try to um, give you a kind of um, I, I try to explain that um, give you the reason for that why I don't uh, apply them these certain concepts um, in my music I try to explain that here Okay, so um, we go on with another uh, concept and um, this concept is called an, Purvang and Uttarang. And this concept is very, uh, very much um, connected also to I mean, basic, basically, I think this is concept in a way you find everywhere. This concept of tetra or pentachords. Um, for example, it is uh, also frequently um, used in, in Western harmony, actually, like this, this idea of tetra and, and pentachords. For example, there is this theory of the cycle of cycle fifths. There you always go like a, a, a pentachord, major pentachord up, and then you go another major pentachord up, so C major, G major, D major. If you if you study the like the cycle of fifths, it, it, it goes like that. And also this uh, this fourth degree and the fifth degree of uh, um, a major or minor uh, tonality um, in Western music has a has a has a really. Uh, uh, it has a really prominent, prominent function in comparison to the other notes. And in, in Turkish makam music, these, these different makam scales, um, like the, the basic ones, like basit or ana makamlar, um, they are actually constructed by combining uh, a tetra and a pentachord or a pentachord and a tetrachord. And always this, com this, this, this connecting tone, whether it's the fourth or the fifth, you know, when you have a tetrachord and then a pentachord, you're actually the connecting between these two um, tetra-pentachords, um, the note is a fourth. So the fourth in this case has, has a really, is very important. It's like called a gütschlü, it's like the, the, the dominant note, not in the sense of the fifth degree, the dominant resolving to the tonic, but in the sense of very, very, very important note. Maybe most important note beside the, the karar, the root. And all you have a, a pentachord and a tetrachord, then the, 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 the fifths, yeah, the, the, um, the fifth degree of the scale is, is, is gütschlü, is the most important Important note, like a temporary tonic, you can say, like a, a root for a while, and so this is a kind of a um, concept you have. It's very strong in, in, in Turkish music. Also, you, you think very much um, in, in 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 plateaus um, of tetra and pentachords when you move to to different roots. But that's of course another story. We we not cover that um, here. Um, but also in Indian. Um, Music. I, I don't know whether it's also, also in, in South Indian classical music. Maybe, um, maybe yes, um, but I'm not 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 completely sure. But in North Indian classical music, um, this this um, lower and higher um, tetra or pentachord uh, plays uh, pl plays quite a role 
um, in the in the in the music in the raga music. There are there are these two two possibilities. You have like like purvang, purvang, and actually ang ang means limp. So you have purvang that means the lower limp. And this is either a tetra or a pentachord, starting from sa. So it moves from sa to ma or from sa to pa. So so five or six, uh, five or four notes up the scale. And then you have the uttarang. Uttarang means it's the higher limb, the higher limb of the scale of 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 of, of the rock construction. You can say scale construction and this higher limb starts either from 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 ma from the fourth going up to the sa or from pa the fifth going up to the sa so you have you you um you really divide the 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 whole scale the whole mostly like seven notes like in, in as in the west and um, you divide into two limbs into two regions so to speak so the lower region and the, the higher region. And, and either it is sa re ga ma and then ma pa da ni sa or it is sa re ga ma pa pa da ni sa. Yeah, so tetra penta or penta tetra chord. Um, okay, that's, that's just theory. Okay, there, there is this construction. In in Indian classical music, in comparison with Turkish makam music, it is not that the lowest note of that limb, so the sa um, of the, the, the lower limb, of the, the um, purvan, or of the higher limb, the, the ma or pa, so the fourth or fifth degree, is of that importance. As in Turkish music, in Turkish music, that is really our root. We always go to that or temporary or secondary root we always show this this and resolve that to to that root but in indian music it's different we we still or we also have these these two limbs tetra pentachord but our our most important note is sometimes it is the first note the sa or the ma or the pa of the um, the tetra pentachord or of the uterang and purvan, but very frequently it's just an, a note in that range, which is the most important note. So, for example, you you have that scale sari gamma padanisa, and your most important note it's also called vadi, vadi note. And we will also talk about that um, in the in the upcoming lesson. Um, vadi is the most important, important note. This, this note you always have to show, you always have to approach. It, it's, it's the most prominent, prominent note in a rag. And of course, with some ragas, you, 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 it's really about that note, and with other ragas, it's, it's not that focused on, on that note. But still, you, 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 um, you really consider like like every raga has this particular vadi note, this, the most important, most important note, and this can be, for example, the 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 second degree, like the re in the scale, or the ga, or just the da or the ni. It can be any of these notes, or pa or ma, and now this concept of of, of purvang and uttarang um, means purvang is the lowest, lower tetrachord. If the vadi note, the most important note, is in the lower tetrachord or lower pentachord in the lower region of the whole octave, this rock is actually a purvan rock. So, because if the, the, the most important note is in the lower tetrachord, it means that the, the raga, the, 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 the melodic movements and everything, will, be, will happen more in that region, more in the lower tetrachord, more around that, that note. So it stays in a certain region or it goes always 
into that region and, and, and circles in a way around that, that, that most important node. Which is different if the Vadi node is in Uttaran. And you say it's a Uttaran rock and then it's, it's the, the most important node is in the higher tetra or pentachord and it moves, it moves uh, more in that region. All right, as I told you, we, we talk about Vadi and Samvadi and also uh, different other M node functions in a different, different lessons, lesson. But now just, just know there is, a, there is something like a most important node and it's a, it's a, it's a difference of whether this is in the lower part or the, the upper part of, of the octave. And so we, we say this raga is, a, is an uteran raga. So the, it, it mainly or, or mostly or dominantly um, the, the, the melodic movements happen in the, in the upper, um, upper part. There's something else, it's called stan, and stan is, is a different uh, thing. Uh, it, it's, 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 it's there, it's about register. So sometimes raga likes to uh, happen more um, in the higher register or in the lower register or goes beyond the octave or, or below the octave. I mean below the, 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 the middle uh, sa, the, um, the root. And that is also very, very um, connected to Turkish makam music where you say you have, you have um, uh, like like ascending uh, makam makams and you have descending makams and 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 these these types they actually also really um, the, some like for example ascending rocks they really like to like to to uh, rocks <laughs> ascending makams they really like to to uh, to um, to move in the go into the higher register, whereas descending uh, makams they like to go more in the lower register. Okay, so that's but that's a different concept. That's like like stan and stan really um, is is independent from uterang and, and purvang because you can also say. It's happening in the higher octave. It really likes to go in the higher octave, but also in the higher octave you have like a, a lower and the higher um, um, un, uh, tetra or pentachord. So it can, can go into the higher octave, but always uh, be in the, the first, um, first part of the higher octave. So it's like still, it's like purvan, uh, this, uh, this raga. All right, so now let's talk about application. If you are not a raga musician, not North Indian, if North Indian classical music is your uh, thing, um, then what? Uh, why do we need it, or can we can we use it? Can we um, bring it in, into our concept, or what can we learn from that? So let's go into that. I have a low D and I, um, I show you D Dorian. So D Dorian, that's just a scale, just seven notes moving up and down. And um, 
when we when we go for like modal uh, jazz or we, we think more in a, in a modal uh, context normally what you say okay this this tune this composition um, is in, in D Dorian and just improvise with D Dorian and then you do a lot of stuff uh, in, in D Dorian and take in a way you're taking all these notes equal of equal importance or you don't care too much or maybe you take the the core tones as as important notes like D F A um, but mainly you do not you do not think about about like an or vadi note when you play. The idea of a vadi note is actually um, actually quite quite cool. <laughs> it's um, because this note, like in Indian raga music, this note can be can be any note. It can be Sa, it can be Re, it can be Ga, it can be Ma, it can be like every, every note um, of the seven note scales. And also without considering Raga music, without considering, oh now I play in that, in that Raga, we can still apply that concept. So we can say, I have a D Dorian. I, I show you the, the, the difference now, what, what, what makes a difference if we sing like different um, Vadi notes or different most important notes. I can say, okay, um, my Vadi note in D Dorian, um, I, I say it's the F, it's a minor third. That's, of course, quite connected to, to thinking in, in a way like D minor because it's, it's also a chord tone, but... Um, Listen to that. So I show my, my F. My F is my, my most important note. and try to try to um, memorize in a way this feeling the mood I just created now I create a different mood by showing the second degree the E as my most important note kind of a uh, more extreme I, I, I can say it's more maybe a bit more extreme what I'm doing because I'm always like like approaching e, 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 e. Um, normally of course you, you would also approach different notes but at the end in a way you will always rest on, on these 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 vadi notes on the most important notes maybe I show you I, um, I, I, I show you that um, so let's let's take the E again Thank you. 
Okay, and now I show the G as the most important note. <laughs> And you hear, you hear also that that uh, the mood gets quite quite bright in a way when I go to to D uh, to G as a, as my my main important my most important note because I have a kind of a G major thing there because I have a B which would be the major third in the scale from 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 G as a root and uh, my D gets sort of the fifth degree so this is also some some kind of harmonic uh, twist what what is what is happening if i always approach this g but i think what what you hear is a quite different mood and what i'm doing now now these these notes really were in my um, my lower ang in my so this i could can say what i just played was was a kind of um purvang um I don't have to say it's a rag, I don't have to give th this name, but I can say I play like Dorian, but I show this note as my main, most important note. And I, 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 I dominantly, I, 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 um, I circle around melodically and in, in that lower um, area of the octave of the whole um, scale. I also can say, okay, I go to, um, for, for example, to, to me, to, to the minor third, a uh, minor seventh of the scale, then I'm in, in Uteran, I'm in the higher, um, higher, um, um, higher limb of the scale. Okay, so you, um, so what I did, I always showed the C, 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 so Ni, the, the minor sevenths, and I, this way I, I moved mostly, I, 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 I was, um, I was uh, playing in that Uteran, the higher limp, the higher um, tetrachord, sometimes also exceeding the, the octave. Um, So, so I hope you, you you got this this. I mean, first before I continue, um, you get an you you got an idea about this whole concept. So it's about um, you have a you you divide the, the octave, the whole scale, into two parts: a higher and a lower part, and um, and then you you have a certain certain kind of most important note in that raga, the vadi note, and then that means you 
dominantly you 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 um, you move you move in that um, area of this scale where around this node so you stay more more or less in the lower or higher um, area tetra or pentachord so lower tetra or pentachord is like a purvang and higher um, region higher ang limb is uterang All right, so um, now again about application because um, what I'm now doing, I really circle around always uh, one node. I always sh show one node and, and you, you, maybe you hear for, for yourself that hmm, it's kind of it's kind of boring because I'm of course I'm not a North Indian classical musician and and um, I'm to really play a raga very very musical and and very yeah very strong of course there are more concepts and uh, you really have to you really have to learn this raga not by by some some uh, some rules and then you, you you learn them you know like intellectual and then you just apply them and then it's it's a raga no. Actually, the raga is much, much more than these rules. The, the, the rules help to, 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 to get there, to understand things, to, to, to talk about certain things, that you, 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 you can focus on certain um, elements and then um, improve there. But also like how a raga is traditionally taught is uh, like just, um, I mean, without writing something down, maybe without even any theory just you learn compositions in a certain raga and that's how you actually get get this feel and and this is quite connected to to also persian music to this radif for example that's like a, a, a actually it's like like in a way it's like composed material which you learn by heart and when you know that you can you can also um, improvise with that you can also play with that because you 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 already internalized um, internalized these different dif different movements um, so the theory is actually already encoded in the music so you learn the music and then you also have learned the theory so to speak yeah, you 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 understood um, orally what is right and, and what this certain raga is not really doing yeah and you you have to learn quite a lot of compositions to really to really understand a raga actually yeah because what we we are we were we are taking here a bit more like an intellectual approach and we think already about application to other music so we we not go too deep deep in in that area okay um, so the way I, I, in my music, I apply, apply this, this, uh, this, this concept maybe of Uttarang or Vadi or, um, this kind of thing is, um, I combine that, that actually with a, with a, also with the Turkish Makam music, but also with the Western harmony with thinking chord struct, uh, chord progressions, functions, and so on. So, um, I mainly, I don't stick to one wadi note in a way it's like i i'm i do like i i'm progressing either i progress in a way what's also very frequently in, in makam music you progress through a scale so for example i take when i'm in, in d dorian i take a as my main note but then it's really my root of a kind of an a minor thing and i can also play yeah i circle around this note as my root and now i go to g
Yeah, so what I did, I um, I just, I went in a way through the, the scale by showing every note um, for a while as a root, a temporary root um, of a different um, sound, chord, or like tetra or pentachord, um, how you think in Makam music. So, um, that's one idea. The other idea um, of application is you take the Dorian scale and you just improvise with that. But you're aware of certain plateaus you are. So you, you, you circle around certain notes without really showing this, this whole macam thing, without showing like if I'm on an F, I don't, I don't show this, this whole F major um, chord or F major pentachord there. Um, it's more I, I circle around this, uh, I circle around, around the note. I'm thinking it's about F now, but then I change it. Yeah, I go to G or I go to E or back to D. So I, I show you what I mean. And that's really the, the most, mostly I do that actually, I, applying that concept in that way. Try to, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm focusing on, on certain notes in the scale and take and, and, and circle around these notes. I, I always, I, I, in a way, I'm, 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 I'm saying, I mean, I'm, I, I take that one note at a time at my subject. And all I'm saying is I try to, uh, I try to, talk about that note that that subject and I, I show different ways how how this this um, subject this note is is embedded in the scale or how how I can different ways how to approach that note that is that I I, I show you like the different um, different ways that that note is behaving or that that note is reached in, in the scale it's it's about that note yeah that that is my subject and then I later on go to a different note, to a different subject. So it's 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 shifting. It's in a, a bit like like I have a new Vadi note suddenly. You know what what's kind of you also shift that. You also do that in in tux, uh, tux, in, 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 in 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 alap and and and, and, and these raga music that that you you change. Um, I mean you you. You not only show the Vadi note as a as a as a as a most important note, and and every note, uh, every other note you you hide or something like that. No, it's other notes are also important, and sometimes you also stay a bit longer on, on other notes, of course. But um, but um, yeah, but but I'm I'm I move a little bit away from that, and I take more this this uh, Makam approach or this this uh, um, more this uh, Western harmony approach because. Also, when I 
when I go to different notes, that also opens doors to different harmonies, you know, to different, I'm, I'm on, on, with F, I'm, for example, I'm maybe on the, on the root of an F Lydian, F major uh, chord, you know, so I can, I can... <laughs> from F kind of an F major to an A minor to 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 D minor so they are actually like all already like chord progressions so it's a kind of a in between you know like like also when you have chord progressions of course um, the main important notes the chord tones they change and that's that's a kind of a that's a kind of a thing um, here that's kind you can you can in a way um, oh no actually not no so um, so that's that's the idea. That this is a kind of an application of Vadi and uh, Purvan uh, Uttarang, and, and just 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 to, to sum 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 up this 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 video lesson here. Um, just just um, next time when you when you improvise when you play in a certain mode a uh, certain scale, just um, be very. Be very specific about a certain note in that scale that you take as a subject, that you, you circle around that note and you, you always show. That's your theme for, for that um, small period of time, maybe. And then you go to another node, and then you circle around that. Then it's that is your new topic, and that's a kind of a um, that's that's the way I'm 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 thinking quite a lot when I play a more in this modal modal context. So um, so to be more conscious about these these all these plateaus, so to speak, you can you can you can. You can um, you can have in a, in a scale, you know, like like in, in a way like a, a seven note scale, like D Dorian has like seven kind of plateaus. You can you can uh, you can be on a, on one plateau for some time and then go to another plateau instead of just playing all the time up and down the whole scale or doing sequences through the whole scale and 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 this kind of a thing. It's more like no, I have a root, I have D, but I can also have like temporary resting places, temporary subjects. I'm really, I'm, I'm really going for, for, for that moment. And I show that. And by doing that, I create a certain kind of a mood. I show a certain kind of a perspective in that scale because like showing different notes also gives me a different perspective and gives me a different, different mood. And that's, that's something um, you really can, can apply uh, from Indian raga music when you come um, to, to music in, in general, to improvising just on a mode. So to go more, more, more into uh, depth with that, more, more, it's more deeper um, thing than. All right, I hope you got something out of that lesson. You enjoyed that lesson. And um, of course, there's a PDF again, um, which you can download, which also have support my channel. Just go in the description below to the link. And you can also um, donate by clicking on the link down below in the description. Also, the website, whoopildenbrand.com, there you find a button where you can donate to support my work here. So thanks for watching. My name is Hoop Hildenbrand. <laughs>